Muhammad is his prophet. Am I right? That is called prophet. Yeah? And in English, it is called infidel. That's a Christian word though. I don't oh, know that's a Christian word. And you are listening this first time. Yeah? No, 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 no. I've heard it before, but I always heard it from you. I never heard it from my imam. Okay. I never heard it from my imam. That's interesting. Okay. okay. Why would it be interesting? It's an English Christian word. Why are you denying it? Why are you denying it? You are saying. You don't know the meaning at all. Yes? No, no, no. I know the meaning. Christians, it's a. Okay, I will tell you the meaning. Okay, yeah. You know the meaning. It means non Christian. Okay, I'll say it. Infidel means non Christian. Infidels means non Christians. Kafir means non Muslim. Simple. Simple. Infidel. But now you don't pretend that this is not an English Christian word. It's not an Arabic word. Is it a Hindi word? Infidel? Is it an Urdu word? No. It's from it's from the English no, Christian Kafir, tradition. Kafir is a Urdu word as well. I said infidel. I said infidel. Don't infidel. pretend course, like you, you're innocent of this word. Okay. See, I'm honest. Yeah, my scripture has the word Kafir. This is what it means. You have to be honest too, right? Okay. My definition of an infidel is this person who doesn't believe in God. Person who doesn't believe there's a God, doesn't believe in God, doesn't believe in God. And when, when the Quran says, don't have that yet, yet they are. Atheists are wrong, because they don't believe in anything. And what I'm trying to say to him, a Muslim cannot be associated with someone who is not religious. Because eventually that Muslim is going to have the same idea as, as an atheist. Because he's being man and he's going to hear him. It, it wouldn't explain why the Prophet Muhammad associated with Abu Talib. Abu Talib was his uncle and he never became a Muslim. So we have a counter now. What do you say? So are you trying to say? I don't think I don't think Only the Muslim gives clear answers, eh? You want to know what kafir means? I tell you. You ask me I'm Muslim, I tell you. Everybody else is covering up something. I'm not Jewish family, but I'm Jewish. Alright, so in other words, you can associate with non Jews because you don't practice your religion. If you did practice your religion, then like the Orthodox Jews in Stanford Hill, you would be able to secure it like not associating with the non Jews. How do we clear that up? Christian. You are another loving Christian at the park. 
I feel the love, brother. I feel the love. Well, it's too much sometimes. It's too much sometimes. Okay, let's see. Verse 24. I, I, I don't kill I don't kill any Muslim and I will not kill any Muslim, but I will say the truth which is in their book. Okay. So you are someone who tells the truth. He said in chapter 4, verse 24 of the Quran, it allows muta. Muta means temporary marriage. So I'll read the Arabic, verse 24, because you probably can't read Arabic. So I'll read the Arabic. And when you hear the word muta, put up your hand. Okay? When you hear the word muta, oh. put up your hand. So I'll, let him finish. <laughs> كتاب الله عليكم وأهل لكم ما وراء ذاتكم أن تبدأوا بأنواعكم والسنين غير مسافحين فما استمتعتم به منهن فآتوهن أجورهن فريدة ولا جناها عليكم فيما تراضيتم به من بعد الفريدة إن الله كان عليما حكيما. I can read it, but my Arabic isn't very good. So if you hear, if you heard the word mutta, let me know where the, that word mutta was. The meanings? Yeah, what's the Muslim. <laughs> The one who told you, he didn't tell you. But I call him, call him, call him back. You can teach me, yeah? Yeah, the English is great. You want to read the English? Also prohibited are women already married, except those whom your right hands possess. Thus has Allah ordained against you, except for these all other are lawful, provided you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, desiring chastity, not lust. Seeing that you derive benefit from them, give them their dowry at least as prescribed. But if after a dowry is prescribed, if you agree mutually to change it, there is no blame on you. Allah is all knowing, Allah is all wise. Muta means temporary marriage. It means you marry with the intention that we will divorce after one month, after two months, after three months. And that has been prohibited in the hadith. That's why Sunni Muslims don't do it. Yes. Otherwise, we would do it, right? That's yeah, Sunni Muslims, sure they are doing a misyar instead of muta. Yeah. Misyar is yeah. what? Uh, a marriage of what? A marriage of convenience? I don't know. You tell me. You are Sunni. Misyar, from what I understand, again, the word doesn't come in the Quran, but from what I understand, misyar means I marry a woman. I'm supposed to provide for her. It's not in me. I'm supposed to provide for her materially, physically, and everything. Now, now if yeah, absolutely, yeah, men should provide. Yeah, men should provide. So now, if I'm, ask, I'm answering your question, I'm answering your question. One minute. One minute. You ask what is yours? Let me clarify this. Yeah. Is it fine? Well, the woman, you are gone, and she is. Enjoying uh, sex with some money. Yeah? What verse is that now? What verse is that? Yeah. That is it. Miss Yar or Muta. That is Miss Yar or Muta. It's prostitution. What is it? <laughs> That's a prostitution. And and all all your Muslim scholar, they agree on this that uh, this is a prostitution. This is a prostitution. Yeah, that's why we can't do it. That's why we can't do it because we all agree that that's prostitution. That's to, to 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 rent out your wife, to lease your wife, to have sex with someone else, to make money. You're right. We all agree this is prostitution. All Muslims agree that's prostitution. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Do you agree as well? I'm going to put you to the same test because what he does is he takes something from the Quran. He tries to show it's not clear. Prove to me that you even have to marry according to the New Testament. How do you get married? What do you have to do? What do you have to do? That's how incomplete Christianity is. That's how incomplete. That's how incomplete the Bible is without the Catholic Church. You need the Catholic Church. Look at this. You need the Catholic Church to be a good Christian. Look at this. Catholic is. But you need you need to become a Catholic to be a good Christian. You have learned. You have learned the word marriage from us. From us. Otherwise, Muslim, the word is. Nikah, mm. nikah, not a marriage, 
Nikah means Nikah marriage. Nikah means uh, intercourse. It can mean both things. No, no, no. It can mean both it's things. It's not. It's not. Don't tell lie, please. Okay. Did so. So Nikah then, what is what is uh, what is Nikah means intercourse. Okay. Intercourse. So did the prophet? Did marriage, he? Marriage did, is a sanctity. Listen, I know. I know sanctity. English is. I know English isn't your first performed, language. One minute. Performed in a. I know English is not your first language, but do you understand that words can evolve and they can have different meanings in different contexts? I for think, example, I think for example, started, in Hyde Park, in Hyde Park Speakers started, Corner, they don't, they 50, don't mince with the word. 50 years ago, don't mince with the 50 word. years ago in Hyde Park Speakers Corner, if I said I'm gay, it means I'm a very happy person. Yes. It means I'm very happy. No, no. Okay. No, no. If in 2020 I say that I'm gay, it means that I'm homosexual. Yeah. So words but, can have evolving meanings. They can mean different things in different times. Your scholars. Nikah can mean intercourse, like consummating the marriage. Your and Nikah can also mean the process of getting married. No, 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 no. That's why the Prophet Muhammad gave a khutbah to Nikah. Your, your scholars, what is khutbah to Nikah? Mince with the word. Prophet Muhammad yeah. didn't mince words. They're, 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 so they're when giving, they're giving the uh, See, uh, you're uh, not right answering meaning, questions. Right Uncle, and, honestly, right you're running away. It's not befitting your white hairs to act like this. It's not befitting you, your, your age to act like this. I'm asking you a simple question. When 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 two companions of the Prophet wanted to get married, did or did the Prophet not do a service? Did or did he not do a wedding service? Did he or did he not give a khutbatun nikah? Khutbatun nikah means he gave like a marriage sermon. Did he or did he not do that? Did he or did he not ask if they accept each other in marriage? That's the marriage ceremony. You have to do that before you can do the other nikah, which is the one you're talking about, consummating the marriage. That nikah has to be done after that nikah. And the Prophet will give a khutbah to nikah, he will give a religion. Don't, don't like pretend this, that this is a, you don't know about this. <laughs> you don't know Muslims get married? If, if we didn't have to get married, then we would be doing what your kids are doing, right? Then we would be doing what you're doing. Going to the nightclub, sleeping with whoever we want. So you are saying, your kids are not the, doing. I'm saying, to, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying no. that the only young men, the only young men in this you park you will find who are married are, are Muslims. You are pointing, pointing out uh, to me that my kids are doing, but your kids are not doing. Not figuratively yours, not, figur uh, not, not literally yours, but as in, yeah, the Christian society, of course, of course. You know that, you know oh, that. Good yeah. and bad no, are oh, in every society. But more bad in yours, no, no, when it comes to huh? sexual ethics. More bad? In the Christian more lands. More bad are... Christian lands, there's more bad. More bad are in Muslims. Not all Christians are Christians, and not all Muslims are Muslims. Even nominal, even nominal bad Muslims get married. I can introduce you to so many young men here who are married. You will have trouble finding a young white Christian man who is married. Find me one. <laughs> Very difficult. You'll have great difficulty. Uncle, you know this. You know this. You know in Pakistan it was better off, on the whole. You know the sexual morality and ethics was better off than it is here, man. You know that. You know that. I know that. I know that. I, I, I know here as well. I know here as well. Yeah. In between uh, Muslim and Christian, they are, they are the same thing. Same thing is happening. So you 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 believe Muslim family situation is on the same level as the non-Muslim and the Christian family situation? Wow. All right, man. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. So, so, so you, you can't you can't say you can't. It's a known fact. You, it's a known fact. People in the Church of England are not marrying. Are, they're not having children. You are uh, so so righteous and no. Pure I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's a straw man. That's a straw man. I didn't say we're so righteous and pure. You were teaching me Islam. Now he's. And I said, and I said, what are you teaching me is time for? Hmm? You kept on quoting. Because it's the job of Pepsi to attack Coca-Cola. You know, Pepsi realizes that everybody's drinking Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola taking over, so it's Pepsi's job to attack Coca-Cola. So this is why our Christian friends, ah. we spend more time talking about Islam okay. than about Christianity, so, that's why. So are you saying that uh, Coca-Cola is uh, taking over? Hey, then Pe Pepsi? I'm not Coca-Cola. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? It's Pepsi. What are you doing? I'm, I'm talking about the fact that he, he recognizes about? Islam is the main challenge to his faith. Islam is the, the main competition. It's the main competition. Look, so he feels Islam the need the to convince challenge. you to stay away itself. from Islam. Itself. Not to us. Not, not to One us. question. I was talking to this young man. I said to him, a Muslim man cannot marry a Christian woman unless she converts to Islam. Yeah, false. Yeah, that's false. That's false. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can marry a Christian woman or a Jewish woman and she can remain Christian for the rest of her life. 
I can marry a Jewish woman and she can remain Jewish for the rest of her life. That's unanimous agreement in the four schools of Sunni Islam. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That yeah, yeah. he is absolutely wrong. Uh, then why ask the question? The prophet had a Christian wife. Yeah, but I think they all became Muslim. Yeah. I think they all became Muslim. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah. Like Maria, Maria. Yeah, possibly. I, I am. I heard that when a Muslim man marries an English woman, she has to be No, 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 no. But because there is no marriage. No, 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 no. But the reason. The children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But children must be brought up as Muslim. Yeah, but the reason you might have that impression though the reason you might have that impression is because again the average white British girl on the street is not some kind of pious devout Christian lady right the average let's be honest the average white Christian lady on the street is agnostic deist atheist so I cannot marry her until she becomes Muslim or in theory in theory if she became Christian or Jewish then I can marry her yeah yeah and we can eat the meat of the people of the book too so kosher meat kosher meat right Sac uh, sacrificed by Jews yeah, we can eat that. We can eat that. So we, we do have a lot of concessions when it comes to the Jewish and Christian community. So he says, the people of the book... I know book, he doesn't want to talk about friendly but, stuff, but, but this is fact. He, 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 you shot me dead. The people of the book, that a Muslim has to kill them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So how would this... Christians and the Jews. Yeah. So how would this work? How would this work? The Quran allows me to marry a Jewish woman and she can remain Jewish. The Quran allows me to marry a Christian woman and she can remain Christian her whole life. So how does it make sense that the Quran on the one hand would say, I can marry a Christian woman. I, I'm answering you. I, I can marry the Christian woman. I can share the marriage bed with her. I can share intimacy with her. We can have children together. We can eat together. We can kiss. We can raise our children together. Oh, but I can't be friends with her. I have to kill her. No, 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 it doesn't no, make woman. sense. I'm talking about ordinary Christian. Okay. So, a, up the book. okay. so a Christian who is not my wife, I'm supposed to kill. This no, is what he's saying. I'm not talking about a female. I'm talking about a Christian man. group and a Jewish group. Okay. You know? okay. So, so in his book, says, uh, your book. 929. Yeah. Surah 9. Yeah. Right. 929 is talking about the Mushrikeen or the pagan Arabs, anyhow. It's not even talking about Jews or Christians. 929. Okay. So now, see, you know, you know what frustrates me? They tell me to find something in the Quran and you will never find it. So what he's claiming is that 929 says to kill all the Jews and all the Christians. He says, what does people of the book who do not believe in Allah or in the last day and do not take them as unlawful what Allah and his messenger have declared as unlawful and do not profess the faith of the truth fight them until they pay whatever that is with their own hands while they are suffering. exactly so if they agree to peace and they pay the tax no you don't you're not supposed to kill all Jews and Christians do we agree now okay do you see where it said until they pay the jizya until they feel subdued so we let's not forget that right so there, there's an escape clause there's a caveat there's a disclaimer that you're fighting them in the battlefield if you conquer them if you conquer them if you conquer them, if they are willing to live under you, they're willing to pay their taxes. Do you pay taxes to the British government? Yes. Okay, so they, then they're supposed to leave you alone. You, no, nobody likes to pay taxes. We'll never like it, but then they leave you alone. So the same thing was throughout Islamic history. That's why, in fact, the Jews survived in Morocco for as long as they did. That's why the Jews, uh, 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 the, the reason they survived in medieval Spain and the Ottoman Empire for as long as they did is because of that verse. So you should thank that verse. That that verse said, listen, if they want to live in peace, if they're willing to live under your government, if they're willing to pay taxes, then you leave them alone. I'm, I, I remember a little verse. But isn't it? So, so far, we're still searching for that verse which says, go and kill every Christian and every yeah, Jew. Yeah. Don't let them forget that. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them forget that. He's going to bring us to the next okay. verse. To the next one. Yeah, uh, to yeah. the next, well, the next one. Yeah. He has a list. Yeah. But that's the worst they could find, if you think about it. 929, that's the worst that they could find. And that one says, after, after you beat them in a battle, if they want to live under your government, they want to live in peace, they're willing to pay the tax, no problem. But you've got to remember, I'm not a Christian. Yeah, yeah. It says, oh, you who believe... That applies to Jews as well too, though, 929. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you who believe, do not take Jews and the Christians for intimate friends. Now, that's what I'm saying.
for intimate friends. They are friends to each other. Whoever takes them as intimate friends is one of them. One of them. Yeah. Okay. And one of them, surely Allah does not take unjust people to. How can, how can this gentleman say? That we can uh, marry I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about Christian uh, or Jews girl. No, I'm not talking about women, I'm talking about ordinary people. Yeah, even a even friend. Even a friend. Even a friend. Even a friend. Just not to be female. Be a male. Just yeah. I want to warm my hands. Yeah. Sorry, I want to warm my hands. If Allah, okay. if, if, no, if Allah is totally prohibiting, prohibiting to take the Jews and Christians as intimate friends. No, I'm no, 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 forget about the woman. Clear I'm not... Uh, no, good question, uh, good question, said, oh, yeah, good question. Good question. Yeah, good question. good question, yeah, good question. So his friend. question is that if the Quran is saying do not take unbelievers as close intimate friends, then how elsewhere in the Quran can it allow me to marry a Jewish and Christian woman and she can remain Jewish and Christian? Okay. So a very good question. This is a good question now. Finally, we got a good question. And the answer to that question is that the verse that he read, Muslim scholars, just like Christian scholars, will try to reconcile biblical verses, right? So Muslim scholars will reconcile Quranic verses and they will say that that verse is talking in a, on a communal level, on a political situation. In other words, it's not saying Sadat, don't take a Jew or a Christian. I know you're not either one, but it, th that verse is not saying Sadat on an individual level, on a neighborly level, don't take a Muslim, uh, don't take a Jew or a Christian as an intimate friend. It's saying Saudi Arabia, don't trust America. Iran, don't trust America. Pakistan, don't trust Israel. So it's on a communal political level. Okay. Now, as far as the individual level goes, so, uh, I have to say, I have to say one more thing. Uh, isn't the same message to you also? No, 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 no. On, not on an individual only, level. Only to, only to Saudi Arabia on, or Muslim. On a, on a communal uh, uh, level, on a communal level, do not take the unbelievers as protecting friends. And even on an individual level, I will not take an unbeliever as a protecting friend, as a protecting friend. On this point, so I have wife, to agree with the if Bible. You, if you take, uh, take on a this, wife, yeah. and you haven't taken uh, She's not wife, my protector, I'm her protector. Not, oh, okay. I trust she myself to your, protect her. Protector, I protect uh, her. She is an intimate uh, friend of She's you. an intimate friend, but not a protecting friend. She's not a protecting friend. <laughs> on this that's, point, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny because it agrees with the Bible. That's on this point, we funny. completely agree with the Bible. <laughs> on this point, that's we completely agree with the Bible. Because the Bible yeah. says in 2 John, on. Many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Ah, look to deceiver, yourselves. Many yeah. deceivers okay. have gone out. Look, yeah, look to yeah. yourselves. Those who don't that believe we do not lose that these Jesus One has become a... We believe he came in the flesh. It didn't say become flesh. It said came in the flesh. So, so these people... So who, who are those? These people... Okay, let's say it's Muslims. We're, I'm happy to accept as Muslims. Now it says about these people, it says, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine do not receive him into your house that's nor true. greet him so that's you're not true. even supposed to say hello to me that's true. and according to his faith he can't let you into his house that's and true. he can't let me into his house I don't but my faith that. my faith Islam allows you to come to my house if I choose to let you into my house you can come into my house you can come into my house I don't even know what you believe uh -huh. you can come into my house but according to yes. his faith I'm a dirty non-christian and I cannot come into where's your the love house of Jesus? Yeah. so where's the love of Jesus love at this of point Jesus says, also second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 love of Jesus Do do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So according to his faith, which he's not telling you, he's, he's trying to tell you how bad Coke is. He doesn't want to describe his Pepsi, if you understand what I'm saying. According to his faith, he cannot marry a Muslim woman anyways. So even if Islam allowed me to, to marry my sister to you, your book will stop you. Your book says, do not no, be yoked. No, no, no. Do book, not be unequally book, yoked book, with unbelievers. My book clearly says, and even Jesus clearly says that love your enemies and pray for those who even hate you. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. And you are escaping from this point. Persecute. Persecute. Yeah. But you cannot pray for me while I'm in your house because I cannot come into your house. Oh. You cannot pray for a Muslim lady while she's your wife because she cannot be your wife. Your Bible stops you. Your Bible stops you from marrying those Muslims and Jews. No, Do not Bible, be my, my, unequally my yoked Bible together says, with unbelievers. My, so my what does Bible it mean? Clearly says that uh, give the message of Jesus that uh, 
we this is called love running you. away from the topic. We still love you see how I answered your questions directly? You're not answering directly. You're just talking about love, love, love. No. I'm asking you, what does this mean? Do not let them into your house. Do not be yoked with them. Do not be yoked with them. What does that mean? You're not supposed to associate with unbelievers, right? So you should agree. You cannot be close intimate friends with Muslims. You cannot be close intimate friends yeah, with Muslims. Muslims. It's not my Quran stopping you. I'm saying that your own Bible no, is stopping you. Your, your Quran is clearly saying, do not, do not have intimate friends. Uh, awliya means also protectors as well. So protecting friends. Do not take America as your protecting friend, which every Muslim country does. See, I answered the question. You are twisting, no. I answered the question. You don't your twist. Quran, you don't even touch Quran, the topic. You are twisting your Quran, no. Uncle, yeah. uncle, I, it would be an improvement if you twisted the verse. You, you're not even twisting. You're running away. I'm saying, what does it mean? Explain to us. No. Do not be yoked with the unbelievers. What does it mean? But, uh, Tell us. Uh, re read the other passage where Jesus says, "Okay, love us. Love I, got your, love I got it. I got it. I got it. Love as yourself. Excellent. Love okay. your neighbor even. Okay. 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 So tell us what this I verse means. Shall Notice you didn't answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Shall I answer? Next verse is going to bring us down to the next. Unbeliever. Right. In the book there. Yeah. Unbeliever means non-Christian. Right. Right. So right. It's saying when. He said, when you're a Christian and you believe in Jesus and all that, and you have a, a non-believer coming, that person or person's weather will change your mind. Fair enough, you'll, fair you'll, enough. You will start thinking what they're thinking. Fair and enough. And you will start doing what they're doing. He knows this answer. And your faith will become weak. Just like yeah. the Muslim. He knows this answer, but Do he doesn't want to say that. Oh, he knows this answer just, as well. It's just like a Muslim. So, so, so he said it. He's, he's you told you the answer. You start You're thinking what they're doing. <laughs> And then you there start moving away from answer, Islam, which yeah. he wanted to yeah, know. And, and, and I don't it's have a problem Jesus. with that. I can say there's truth yeah, to that, because, but because he won't. Because he wants to give you flowers and chocolates. I'm the follower of Jesus. He wants to give you flowers and chocolates. Yeah. Yeah. But come on, be, be fair. He, he didn't even answer that question. Be fair now. No, we didn't answer yeah. yeah. No, no. If, if someone refuses to hear you, uh, sorry, if one of your fellow Christians refuse, is doing a sin and you advise him, but he doesn't want to listen to you. He doesn't want to hear your advice. Tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to listen to the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. So now you tell us. I told you what kafir means. Now you tell us what is a heathen and how are you supposed to treat a heathen? Because this verse is saying that if there's a really bad Christian, he's not taking your advice. He's not taking the advice of the church. Let him be to you like a heathen. So explain to us what does this mean? What does heathen mean? And how are you supposed to be treating them? Okay. Let, me, let me explain. Infidel. Infidel. Let me, let, me, let me explain you. Let me explain, explain me. Explain me. If uh, a person want to follow Satan, hmm? and uh, I'm telling him this is God's way and this is Satan's way, God's way will lead you to everlasting life. Satan's way will lead you to everlasting destruction. He don't want to listen. He keep on uh, doing what uh, is leading to uh, him to everlasting. Uh, I understand. Yeah. He doesn't want to worship a human being. He wants to worship God. Carry on. That's that's his choice now. That's his choice. That's yeah, yeah. his choice now. Yeah. What will you do? Finally, you will leave him on his on his way. We on don't leave way. you, Uncle. We yeah. keep on giving you advice every no. week. On, on, on his way. But we didn't give up unless, on you. Unless, unless he himself realized that uh, he is on the wrong track. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. It's not uh, that uh, you are uh, holding him from the ear yeah. and bringing him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. He has to have his own choice. Right. That's right, right. that what God okay. has given yeah. a and, power and, of choice yes. to everybody. And you will not associate it with him in the meantime. Okay. okay, fine. Fair. And he's a heathen though, right? So I'm a heathen, is that right? In the Christian church. You won't answer the tough question. Right? In a Christian church, if a person refuses to listen to the elders, not young, but the elders saying, listen, this is wrong, you need to stop doing it. And that person decides, no, we'll keep on doing it. The church has said, well, we'll exercise that, we don't want you near us, because he will start making other people follow his ideas. That's why they came out of the church and said, 
you're, if, you, if we kept you here, you stop, other people will start following you. We don't want that. Yeah. You believe in something and he's making it. Listen, what you're, what you're saying makes sense. It makes sociological sense. I agree with you. That makes sense. Even it makes secular sense as well. But the reason he doesn't want to too readily acknowledge that right now is it doesn't fit in with the flowers and chocolates that he wants to share of Christianity. But listen to me one minute. Even it makes secular sense. If I was an atheist, if I'm a hardened atheist, yeah. do I want my son hanging out with Muslims all the time? No. Probably not. Probably not. If, if, if I'm a communist, do I want my kid hanging out with uh, like liberal democratic uh, thinking people all the time? Probably not. So it's not an Islamic thing. And I would say it's not just a Christian thing. I would say it just makes sociological sense. Okay. And it makes moral sense. In Judaism, there is no intimate orthodox subject. Not to that ordinary truth. Orthodox will not allow to intermix. Right. The moment she goes off or he goes off with her, she's out, out the window. That out. And that father says, My child is dead, that's it. Right, right. And that probably does hurt a child. You're dead, you're nothing to me anymore. And he will be territory and take everything away from you. That's sad. But one thing I want to you believe in Jesus, yeah? Yes. You believe in Jesus. Okay. This is a you believe he's God. I believe him. God.